Hey, good morning, gentlemen, and welcome back. Wanted to do a quick video to show you the solution I came up with for my wireless iPhone charger and Apple CarPlay connection issue that we've been talking about the last few videos. So let's dive in real quick. Okay, you can see here that I have installed a, a RAM mount base with um, the RAM mount bracket. I've installed the quad lock wireless charging device and I've got it wired all the way through the handlebars and down under the seat. I've got the vibration dampening attachment here so it's supposed to keep it from damaging your iPhone. And so when I turn on the power for the bike, it does not come on. There's not enough voltage. But when I start the bike, it turns on. And then you can't see my phone, but I attach my phone to this and it starts charging it. Works just great. Now the second step was, hold on. So that all works good. Um, the second step was, how, if my phone's on this thing charging, and hold on, I gotta do this to actually turn it off. Turn the power back on, it pulls the voltage down, and it should turn that off. Yep. And then I turn everything off. Uh, and someone commented, and it does work, that if I was to, ki I was to kill the bike with the kill switch up here, instead of the knob, um, that it leaves the lights on and will turn that off. It drains the power in the same way. So either way. Um, so now the issue is I've got my phone on here and it's wirelessly charging. There are no wires on the phone and it's charging my phone. But I also want to use my Apple CarPlay. So here's what I did for that. I purchased the Carlin kit off Amazon two air wireless USB adapter and it seems to be working well. Grab my helmet. So what you do with that adapter is you plug it in right where you would plug your phone. I've got it plugged in right there. That's what it looks like. It's pretty thin, it's pretty small. You can see you know roughly four fingers across. That's how big it is and it just fits right in this compartment and then so the first thing I do is I turn on my headset communication device because the headset connected to the bike is a requirement before Apple CarPlay will work alright so it's connecting so then I turn this on and of course it's going to work whether I have it mounted on here or I'm just holding the phone because I'm videoing this all on my iPhone. And so this is the startup sequence. And then this pops up and automatically starts connecting. And there you go. Apple CarPlay up and running. It's seamless. I don't have to push any extra buttons. My phone can be on this charger, it acts the same way, and there we go. I think it's a good solution. Now the only problem I've seen uh, with this, and it has nothing to do with the products I installed, is that in this Texas heat, which guys lately has been 105, 106 in the afternoon when I'm riding home from work, uh, my phone overheats and I think it would do that regardless but it is connecting uh, via Bluetooth which takes a little more power uh, my phone after about I want to say 10 minutes of riding and that temperature just uh, shuts down says uh, too hot uh, you can use your phone when it cools down basically um, so everything stops the Apple CarPlay everything so anyway that's just an issue with the heat can't wait to test this when in the fall or the, or the winter when it when it cools down here but I'm happy I have a solution that seems to work so thank you for following uh, thank you if you follow this channel and if you don't subscribe 
uh, it costs you nothing and uh, leave a comment love to talk to you guys thank you if you've left a comment before uh, certainly appreciate everybody who comes to this channel so I will see you again soon until then my friends ride safe and God bless